name's John Dolman, and I'm a prosthetist. I make dentures, so it's just a matter of bending the rules a bit, I suppose. Because he didn't have a foot, he limped and he wouldn't put pressure on it. He had difficulty in climbing. He could not jump and, of course, he walked a lot slower. <laughs> Triumph. That's my boy. Hello. I was speaking to our local dentist, John, and he um, wanted to have a look. I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> I realised that he was in trouble, you know, just watching him walk around holding his leg in the air. The fact that his leg bone almost protrudes through the bottom, so he's standing on it. And I thought, oh, there's nothing to lose. I should have a go at him. I came up with the idea of making a boot out of this dental material. Um, and luckily he has almost has a little ankle here, which means that this thing can slip over it and we can Velcro at the top, which is what's holding it on. Um, and then it was just a, ma a matter of giving him some tread pattern so he could grip. So since I put it on him, he actually did this little jump, started running around. So yeah, he reacted really, really well. He seems like, I don't know, he was reborn again. <laughs> he was just rejuvenated. I have to say that I cried because it was just such a great moment. I'm in the middle of doing another one for him where we're going to change the design of it a little bit. The, the attachment process is probably going to be the same, but we'll refine the shape of this um, so that he can climb a little better with it. Amazing, amazing that it, it could be done and it just gives him a better quality of life because he's going to be in captivity the rest of his life. Um, well, it's interesting and I probably would. I'm probably getting close to retirement, so I might delve into that later on, yes. Mm -hmm.